guys, check this out. This is a Musion 10th scale pan car. It's called the K2X Advance. Came out in 97, I believe. Something like that. Anyway, it's just like a, a Serpent 8th scale, but it's a 10th scale. Let's see what two-speed there is there. See my little receiver down in there, little fly sky. I got some conduit over there. It's got that sad out receiver in there. Or this make a little servo the glitch capacitor. Got my little on and off switch there. And I got this little wire coming up. So I can charge the battery, see the battery goes down in there, and you gotta remove a screw here and a screw there to take it out. So I just leave it in there. And just wired in an extra wire so I could uh, charge it. It's got this badass tune pipe on there. It's uh, what is that, 2035. 2502 RB Concepts on there. We've got an RB Concepts X18 engine waiting to go on there as well. It's what came on it originally. This is a Nova Rossi SX12, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it runs pretty good, but I think the RB Concepts engine really smokes this engine. But uh, this engine's brand new, and I just uh, still got a tune on it. And, you know, I've only taken it out once, so. Been sitting for years, and I decided to restore it, and clean it all up. It's been sitting on the shelf, it's collecting dust. So I decided to uh, restore it and drive it around a little bit. This is the body that goes on it here. So. It's like a dirt oval body. Tanya Grand Prix is pretty cool. I reinforced it with this black duct tape. I don't know if you can see that there. All on the inside as well. It's got like three layers of it, so it's super thick now. It's like fifth scale thick. Real nice. You don't have to worry about that when it barely bends down. It's, but it's still pliable, you know, so really nice. And I do that to all my cars now. I get it all the way around the outside. On the inside of the fender flare, uh, flare so that this doesn't chip right here, crack. Anyways, cool little car. Came with one of those really high dot, uh, downforce bodies. And, uh, the RV Concepts engine on there, and then that thing would do like 50 miles an hour in first gear. I could barely get it out of first gear, it went so fast. Parking lot was too small. But anyway, I'm going to uh, drive this one around a little bit. I've got a, a box of this Torco stuff down here. I'll be racing though, so I'll be using that. It's been working real good. I'm shocked. The engine start right up. And uh, idle really, really well. They run really cold. Had to uh, tune the needle about a couple of hours just to get it up to 200 degrees or close to it because it was right at 150 or 130. Anyway, because I don't have a heater. Anyway, that was great. And, uh, hopefully, I'll be making some running videos real soon. Show you guys this bad boy running. It's a vintage RC Nitro. It's extremely rare. Nobody ever drives these cars. I mean, you don't ever even see them, really. You can see where it says Nova right there. Just the bottom of the engine. It says OVA. You can't see the ink. It's covered by that spring. See that belt there going from the back to the front. It's got one way bearings in the front. Solid rear axle. No differential in the back. It's really kind of weird. 
that's what I used to do it. And then you know, how fat that tire is, it's like two inches. Foam. These tires you can't even find anymore. I uh, bought some rubber tires. Hopefully I can get those bad boys on there when these wear out. Keep on jamming with this thing. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you another little project I got going. And uh, hopefully, we'll get some running videos. Alright, see ya.